Hey guys, so today we are gonna make some of my favorite comfort food. This is not time to overthink it and be fussy in the kitchen. It's time to make things that make you feel good, things that you crave, and today I am craving a whiskey bacon cheeseburger. So let's get cooking. Um, I don't actually have real bacon, but I do have like really good sirloin ground beef. So I'm gonna use that, and I'm cooking up turkey bacon. I actually added some butter to it, because here's the deal. I mean, turkey bacon's really good, but it has so little fat in it that what I really wanted was all the fat from the hamburger to fry my bacon in, but I don't have that. So I'm cooking up the turkey bacon, and it's getting really brown. I added a little butter. And then I added like a dash of whiskey. And that's what kind of like gives it a little extra kick and something exciting and makes it my ultimate whiskey bacon cheeseburger. Look at this picture. Ah, so you want that? I do. The other thing about my cheeseburger that makes it kind of special is that I make a secret sauce. And in that it's ketchup, mayonnaise, pickle, and pepperoncini. So you're just gonna kind of get that together and mix it up. Actually, I don't even have mayonnaise, I have veggie mayonnaise right now, which I actually really like. It's about a half a cup of veggie mayonnaise, mayonnaise, whatever you have. Again, like right now, you can kind of sub whatever tastes good, whatever looks good, whatever will work. Squeeze it in. And then I always, I mean, if I can, I always try to have pickles in my house. Um, I want them on everything, especially I want them on a burger. For this one, instead of doing like slices of it, I put it in the sauce and it really gives it that great flavor. How's everybody doing? Uh, oh my gosh, it's still a crazy time. Um, we're still all in our houses, at least here in California. They just opened up our hiking trails, so I think that I'm gonna try to get out and go for a hike this weekend and spend a little bit more time in nature. I've been cooking a lot, so I've been running when I can. <laughs> because I don't know if everyone else is, when you do the comfort food, you gotta move the body. So I'm doing that also. And then of course, you know, it's the other side of it where all you do is also like worry about all these people that are still in the thick of it. So um, I hope that everybody that's, uh, you know, everyone watches is safe and healthy right now and that their families are doing okay. Um, all right, I'm actually gonna show this to you because, you know, we all know that butter saves everything. Wow. So now I'm gonna have enough fat in the pan to be able to fry my burger with. And let me just check it, it's looking pretty good to me. I already flipped it once. I'm gonna flip it one more time because I want it really crispy. Okay, and I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Um, and we're gonna get this in. So when you make your secret sauce, it's pretty much Thousand Island, let's be honest here. But I do like adding the pepperoncini to it. It just adds an extra little bit of pickle to it. Um, I love the flavor of it. So it makes it special. So it gives my burger my little signature bit to it. A lot of people like to grill their burgers. Obviously there's no mess. It's really great to be able to be outside, but I really like frying a burger in a cast iron pan because then you, you keep all the fat inside of it. So when you do it in a grill, you're letting all the fat kind of drip out. And one of the things for me is like, if you're gonna eat a burger, kind of eat a burger and uh, I want it kind of fried in the fat and I want it to seal all that in. We'll mix that up in a minute. Let's get our burger in. Oh my gosh, I use my fingers way too much. I, I have battle wounds in my hands from always using my fingers instead of using my fork that was sitting in my hand anyway. Um, okay, so I'm gonna turn it back up a bit. I'm gonna take my burger. So sometimes I do Montreal seasoning salt, all that when you have really good like hamburger, salt and pepper. So one side, just have my burger, heavily salted, um, as much as you can. I love that. And I also want to keep it just with lots of pepper. You're just gonna give it a proper seasoning coating, coat, coat on your burger. So I have my pan going, I have some butter in there. If you have bacon, you might actually have to take some of the bacon drippings away. Um, but for me, I just add a little butter because the turkey bacon needed it. Now I'm gonna add my burger. So I have it on medium. It's hot, I have a ton of salt on there, and it's going right in. Hear that sizzle. All right. So while that's cooking, I don't smash my burgers because you're letting out kind of like all the fat, you're letting out all the juice. I just sat it right in there, um, and that's what's gonna kind of seal it in. And it's gonna be about four minutes each side. It could be two minutes. You gotta keep an eye on it, especially with the size of your burger, and you can see it. 
I mean, you're gonna know when this baby's ready. I'm, you know, I'm posting the pictures from the cookbook and then the exact recipe, and then you kind of see how I just like throw it together in my kitchen, and you see how I just make it for myself or for my family and what everybody wants. The extra pickle to that and slice it on up. We, um, I, I feel summer coming so much right now. I feel like I'm in the seventh grade and it's a week before <laughs> summer break and you're just staring out the window and you just have this like antsiness and this desire to kind of run free and escape and you're like stuck in Groundhog Day and the same thing over and over again. So that's how I feel. And I'm, you know, I'm doing my best. I'm trying to like read the news each morning and see what's happening. And then as the day goes on, I try to step away from it because I can't sleep at night. When I have all that, my mind just goes crazy. So that's how I'm kind of handling it. And then I'm spending as much time as I can just like sitting in the yard and in the kitchen because this is what makes me happy. I mean, most mornings I'm waking up, I'm baking something with the kids and easy. You know, I knew there was like a whole internet thing. Like, are you a sourdough loaf or are you banana bread? banana bread. I mean, I don't have the time to sit and like make it perfect. I also have wild children and my children don't sit quietly and allow me <laughs> to do things. So I, uh, I've just been baking a lot and doing a lot of things with almond flour. What this guy's doing. It looks really, really good. Okay. So we're just going to stir this up and then pretty much, you know, with all these kind of sauces, just taste it to how you like it. Do you like it a little bit sweeter? Add more ketchup. Do you like it a little bit with more pickle? Add more pickle. Perfect. It's so good. So I thought it would be fun for you guys to be able to see like the beautiful style pictures that are in a cookbook. We were shooting 12 hour days. We were doing, I feel like sometimes we were doing like 20 recipes a day and moving at lightning speed. And there's a food stylist and I'm running around doing the shots and then I'm running up the closet and changing and then doing a little bit of styling at the end to make sure it looks the way I like it. What I love about cookbooks and why I'm like, I have a ton of them here, I have them here, I have like stacks and stacks of cookbooks is because it's the inspiration for me. And that's what, you know, looking at this is. This is, um, oh, whiskey sours. It might be a day for some whiskey sours. I actually have these glasses. So there's my whiskey sours. I almost feel like we should maybe make one while we're sitting here. So I have a lemon tree. Super thankful for that, and I have whiskey, so I think we should just like, get after it. Oh, we're waiting for our burger. That's sizzling up a storm in the background. Okay, looks good. I'm gonna give it a little bit longer and turn it down a little bit. I might even add a little bit more butter to it. But let's make a cocktail. These owl mugs were actually um, my parents' wedding gift. They were from them, and I love them. I have like one of these old platters from them, and most of the things that are in the book are just things that I grabbed from my house. So let's make a whiskey sour while we're reading. Crap, crap, Fill it with ice. <laughs> Pour in some whiskey. Okay. I'm gonna flip this before we get into the lemon. I'm gonna set off the fire alarm in here. We have to put this on for a second, guys. It's getting crazy over here. Woo! It looks so good, though. And just because. I'm adding a little tab on top. You're gonna have a burger. Have a burger. Yeah. Do it right. Yeah. Um, we're making a whiskey sour. Well, you know, that's fine. Lemon. So I know you're supposed to make a simple syrup. That's not gonna happen for me right now. And that's like half a lemon, but I feel like I want a little bit more in there. I gave myself a nice four. All right. So I don't like sweet drinks, but I know that I, you know, I'm gonna sit and enjoy this. I want it to be balanced. So we're gonna add a bit of sugar and let's see what happens. Let's just add like a little more than a teaspoon. I'm just gonna stir it. I need a simple syrup, but I don't have one. So the sugar's really gonna kind of drop to the bottom, but you may do with what you have, especially when you have about one more minute till your burger's ready and you wanna have a whiskey sour with it. matter what time of day it is now. Okay, I think this is almost ready. Let me get a plate. Let me get a bun. Oh, we gotta put the cheese on. Give me the cheeseburger without cheese. 
All right, I'm gonna throw the cheese on, and then I'm going to um, cover it, and then just let the, the cheese melt on top. So there's our cheese. Woo, baby looks good. <laughs> I just had to smell the lava. Ah! I'm gonna set off the fire alarm in here. No joke. <laughs> Mmm. Whiskey bacon cheeseburger. Sound the alarm. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>